This is Andrea with Heal Your Body. Today we're going to focus on massage for headache and sinus relief. To start out, I'm going to put some lavender in my hand. It smells really lovely and helps to relax the person on the table. So, you know, just rub some in your hands. And then ask your friend to take a few nice deep breaths through their nose. And then after two or three breaths, you may hear them sigh. <laughs> Feels really, smells really good. And then next, take your lotion for the face. I like to use Biotone Herbal Select Face and Therapy. It's white lily and rosemary hip. It smells really good. I'll just apply it all over the face. Be nice and gentle with your friend on the table. And if you use a little much, you can always wipe some on the table. So you want to go nice and slow, nice gentle pressure on the forehead to start off with. So this muscle is the frontalis. You get really tight, especially when we're stressed. We tend to scrunch our forehead up. So you can go down like this. You go side to side like this. You can even go in this way, this way. And if you pay attention to your friend on the table, you can tell what the what they like by the sounds that they're making or not the sounds. <laughs> Let's rub the temples a little bit. It feels really nice. You put a little bit of pressure and hold a little bit on the temples and just glide your fingers back. And then here we're getting into the temporalis and this muscle, when you rub it, it helps to release this area right here. And so what you can, and it's, this is really great to, to do if your friend on the table has TMJ. And so another thing you can do is ask them to yawn, open their mouth really big and yawn. So I'll ask Karina if she can, can yawn. That just helps release the muscles. They can do that a few times or once, whatever they feel comfortable with. And also up near where the hairline is. Make sure to massage there. It feels really nice for the client. Then you want to get up above the eyebrows. And scoop down to the temples. Take one finger here, one finger here, and go up the nose. So take your fingers and go up into this little area here. It may don't do it too hard gentle pressure. This is good to hold here to help relieve the sinuses. A lot of pressure builds up in there. You can gently do little circles. And 
There's nice light pressure here underneath the cheekbone area. Another place where a lot of pressure, science pressure is. And you want to go slow, even pressure. And use all your fingers. You can use your thumbs and do a downward motion. Starting at the uh, the cheekbone here. So there's some muscles in here. Actually, right here is the masseter, masseter. I always get confused which way to say it. Um, and this muscle also, when you massage it, it helps release this area, which is also, this right here is usually where people tend to feel the TMJ. So massaging this muscle can help relieve that tension. You can go down this way. Your way all the way to the chin. Go back under, under the bone right here. And back up. It's always good to to check in um, and ask how the pressure is. How's the pressure? Sometimes we don't know if we're going, giving too much pressure or not enough. So also you can kind of go this way a little bit. Just put your fingers at the edge of the nose right here. Press down a little bit and then go up. It may feel awkward for them, but it's going to help relieve some size pressure. And also, when I tend to have a headache, I'll, I'll end up doing this and kind of go down top part of the lip. There's a muscle that goes around like this, so you want to massage that too. Massage along the jawline. You can even do a little pinch. Grab onto the muscle. Don't pinch hard. It's just like a nice little grab the muscle. going um, to massage underneath the chin you can feel the muscle right here or the bone and if you don't want to go too far down because you don't want to choke them so it's like right underneath that bone line right where the muscles are attaching you'll be able to feel it you may feel like little bumps squishy parts You can even stop and hold. Also, massage the ears. There's a lot of acupressure points in the ears, actually. Um, they're all along here. There's some in here. 
And when you massage the ears, it helps to relax various areas throughout the body, like in the stomach, in the feet. And what I'm doing here, I'm just gently putting a little pressure, lightly squeezing, compression. Massage the scalp. You can do circles with your thumbs on the top of the scalp. Work your way down to the back of their head. And back up. When I have a headache, personally, I love to do this motion. It feels really good. can also go along, there's this line here that goes on top of the head, where the, the, I forgot the name of it, <laughs> um, but you can use your thumbs and put a little bit of pressure point for one, two, three, and then you slide down a little bit more, one, two, three, so you can go ahead and do that, that helps relieve, relieve some pressure in the head. And then you can also massage up under here with the occipitalis. Occipitalis? You use this part of your finger, put it under there where the, um, the ridge of the back of the head is and just do some nice circles, go back and forth, you can even go down to the tip of the uh, trapezius here and gently pull back. Now we're getting more into the neck, part of the neck massage. So I'm just doing a little bit of myofascial release, I'm not using any lotion, just doing some nice strokes up. There's the levator scapula and the sternocleidomastoid and the scalenes that are all in this area here. And there's also some um, lymph lymph nodes here. It's just this light pressure. This feels really good too when you have a headache. Just put pressure here and hold. And you'll be able to hear if it's relaxing for them because they'll start to um, breathe a sigh of relief. Thank you. 
give a nice little massage in the back of their head. Do one round of the face again. So we had the frontalis, the forehead area here, the hairline, the temples, the front, the temporalis. Eyebrows. Up here, the sinus pressure area point. Underneath the cheekbone. The master All right, and here we're coming to an ending of our massage today. Thank you very much for joining me. Appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. It was my very first time doing a video for Psyche Truth. I'm so grateful and blessed. If you would like to find out more about me, you can go to the link below or look up Heal Your Body on Facebook. And I hope that you join me for my next video. We're going to be going over the next, the next, the neck and pecs. <laughs> and if you'd like to leave a comment below, I encourage you to do so. Thank you very much. Much love.